Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano and a chef on a mission. Today's mission is customer service. So Jamie, I went into, reluctantly went into Walmart um, a couple of weeks ago. Reluctantly went in. We have a local Walmart, Walmart bias and I'm anti big brands. I'm anti big boxes like that. Even though it's so hard to, to buy what you need or what you want without walking into some kind of corporately owned mega store. However, Walmart, I feel, you know, with the reputation is not really the place I want to give my money to first. So I go there last and I've been there twice in the last 14 years. So not bad. Um, but I broke down, we have a Walmart near us here, near us in Ellenville, New York. And I broke down, I went there, um, in the morning to get something I couldn't get from another business in town. So my philosophy is if, if another business in my local community can provide me with a product, even if it's 10% more, 20% more, I'm not going to go to Walmart to get it. Or, in that fact, of any big brand to get it, I'm going to support the local independent store. However, so it was interesting, Jamie. Um, I walk in there, and I'm ready to pay. And nobody's at the cash register. So I'm thinking, oh, wow. And all of a sudden, I hear a voice from over the aisle in, in, in the merchandise. and shows, be right with you, be right there. And when she greeted me, very nice, very pleasant, she just said, you know, they like us to keep busy here. I was impressed with that. That's pretty impressive. Okay, they like us to keep busy. You know, they're not slave drivers. Well, maybe they are slave drivers. I don't, I don't work there personally. But as a business owner, I like my staff to look busy too. You know, there's a, just a sense of walking in and seeing staff that's just standing around, not doing anything, talking. And when my staff does that, I'm like, come on, guys. Come on, girls. Let's get back to work. Look busy. Look busy. And I'll even say to my staff, you know, because Jamie runs the front of the house, I'm like, need to look busy for Jamie. You need to make sure you look busy for her. Because sometimes there's downtimes. There are downtimes, and there's things that there's you just... There's always going to be downtimes. There's always going to be downtimes. There's just things that that you're going to need to look to find to do. And our most successful employees at our restaurant are the ones who keep busy. The ones who will find work to do on their own. Now, we walk into Rockport yesterday, Jamie. Yes. <laughs> looking at shoes, and, and we get a greeting, right? Great greeting, two people at the register. They were so excited that we were walking in. So excited we were walking in. We walked around the store for 10, 15, 20 minutes, tried on four, five, six pairs of shoes. Those two never moved. Never moved. moved. Never even tried to help you find a sign. Never. Never asked you if you were looking for anything. And not only did they not move, but all they did was talk to each other. Talked about the night before. The whole time. About their personal life. Yeah. We got the whole we fill in. We heard everything. We heard everything. And they just, so I was making a joke as we're up by the front. I'm trying on a pair of shoes. We were making a joke. There, more people are walking in and they're like, hello. And I'm like, take advantage of that hello because that's all you're going to get here. <laughs> that's it. You're going to get that hello. But we were in there for 20 minutes and they didn't move. Not even move. They stood at the front by the registers. Yeah. And then as soon as you were ready and you were walking over with your shoes, they said, oh, are you ready to check out? <laughs> like it was like, they made you feel like, okay, great, you're coming in. Right. Now shop and then I'll help you at the end and take your money and that's it. Right, right. You know, and I fell in love with a pair of shoes there fell in love with a pair of shoes. I wasn't going shoe shopping. I wasn't looking for shoes. We just happened to walk in and I wasn't looking for shoes. I was looking for shoes. But there was a pair of shoes that I absolutely fell in love with. I tried them on. I fell in love with them. I'm like, I don't want to take these off. And I didn't take them off, right? No, you didn't. And I had to tell her, I said, the shoes in the box aren't are my old shoes. I have the new shoes on. Um, it was just such, the shoes were awesome. Um, but, you know, customer service, you know, you have to keep your staff looking busy and as an employee if you want to impress your boss you find work to do you find work to, I mean I remember when I worked at the Greenbrier in West Virginia you know after our whole shift was done and we were exhausted you know for the night I went to the executive chef and I said or to the chef at the time this the chef de cuisine uh, Peter and I said uh, chef the walk-in's a mess can I stay after and, and clean it? Can I? And he looked at me and he's like, well, of course you can. You know, <laughs> right. like, of course. I mean, we were all getting ready to punch out. Dinner was service. We got our butts kicked. And I'm like, chef, the walk-in needs to be clean. Can I stay and clean the walk-in? And, you know, that's the kind of employee you need to be. Your boss will recognize that. We recognize that. And, you know, walking into Walmart, as much as I, I don't, as much as I talk bad about Walmart, I think that was a very good um, corporate 
uh, policy uh, image, you know, to have people looking looking busy. And I also no. don't know if it's as much corporate as it, well, it probably comes down from corporate, it but it comes from managers yes. managing their staff. Right. So, being so whether able it's a corporate to, or right. that particular manager, because maybe every Walmart's not like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe this manager stands out. So whatever it is, it was great to see the staff working around moving. And she, who knows what she was doing? How, how much work is there to actually do? She's not restocking. She's not like she wasn't sweeping. But she was, you know, out there just freshening up, right. making things look good. Right. And, you know, and that's that is a big um, a, a, a big image. You know, not only to see people doing it, but to see people things nice and clean. So it was like the walk-in. The walk-in needs to be clean. You know, guests aren't seeing the walk-in cooler, but the walk-in cooler needed to be clean. So I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching this video. If you like my video, please hit like, subscribe to my channel. Definitely check out MarcusG.TV where you can catch all of my videos, um, including links to Aroma Time Radio, uh, Truth in Menu, which is FoodFraudTV.com, um, my No Farm Salmon website, and a bunch of other things. Uh, check it out. Thanks for watching.